Welcome back. My name is Dave and this is Fuzzy Tutorials. So today I'm going to show you how to download from Google Drive when somebody sends you a link. And I'm also going to show you how to install the zipping program or unzipping program that you're going to need to actually pull the files out of the archive. Because most times they're going to be zipped up. Let's get started. So here we are in Windows 10. First I'm going to show you how to install an unzip program. Then I'll show you how to download from a Google Drive and unzip the files. I'll put a time code that's in the description so you can jump right to the downloading from Google Drive if you already have an unzipper installed. So first thing we'll do is we'll bring up a browser. In my case I'm using Firefox. And I'm just going to do a search for pzip. Now the reason I selected pzip is because it's free and open source, so it won't cost you anything to use it, unlike most of the ones that are out there. But you can use whichever one suits your fancy. So we'll just go to the link here, and we'll click our free download. And we're going to save the file. And select this little blue arrow here. That shows us it's completed. So now we'll go into our file explorer and open up downloads. And we can see it's we can see it's right here. It's our pzip and you you can just double click it but if uh, if you want to avoid running into any errors when you go to install it just right click it and run as administrator and then just follow the prompts and once that's installed it will be set up as your uh, default so when you double click on a zip file that's the program that will fire up Okay, so now I'll uh, take you to my website here so we can use one of my links that I've got to uh, file on my Google Drive. Now you see it shows you the files that are in the archive and this is the actual file name. Now I've never actually tried to see if you can download these individually from inside the archive. So I couldn't tell you if that works or not. So we'll just go over here to the little download icon, which is this little tray with an arrow. And then select save the file. And when this one up here flashes, that means it's done downloading. Now you can just click on this to open it up. Or you can close the browser, go into your file explorer, go to your downloads. And then you can just double click the file. And then you can click on Extract. And we'll need to choose a location for that. Well, we can just go down to our... wherever you're going to put the file. Usually you're going to have something under your users directory. So we'll just actually click on New Folder. And we'll keep that. Double click on it. So now we can select this folder. And you can highlight your files. Or you can click on Extract All. 
and then just click on OK. So now, if we go, oh, uh, let's go down to our drive and our users. And there's our files. So if you like this quick tip today, make sure to hit that like button. If you didn't like it, well, the other one works too. And for those of you who are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So thanks for hanging out with me today, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.